So for today, we're going to be looking at the Titans playlist armor, the Biosphere Explorer set. If you guys don't know, I've already made the review for the armor. It's right here. You guys can check it out. We look at how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts. And I'm pretty brutal on it because the armor or the bones rather does not change color. And you can also check out the shader video, which we go through all the shaders that I currently own on the armor, armor all classes as well. So don't worry about it. And then the hunters as well. If you guys already have your sets right here, check it out. Definitely some dope sets in that one. I'm actually pretty proud of that one with like only one of them being like whack. The other three are amazing. So let me know what you guys think. Other than that, we're going to be looking at the helmet. So for this one, I'm going to be real. I don't know where this came from. I just kind of wanted to do something with hive theme pieces. And that's all I knew. So for this one, a few shaders here and there, but we're going to be combining the helmet and the mark because I think those two are the weakest pieces of it. And the helmet looks really cool. Let me just get that out of the way. I think it looks amazing. That being said, the helmet, I feel like would look better with a piece that has that's bulked out. And at the time, I think the helmet was the last one that I made. So I was like, ah, I'll just throw some pieces here and there and then make it hive themed. So that's why I think this may be the weakest out of all of them. I don't remember the Titan one so much. So for me, this is the weakest so far and then we'll go through them. But I think the other three are really good. Uh, for the pieces, we're going to be using the War Newman's Fist for this one, the Abyss Inverted Ornament for the Heart of Inmost Light, the Heart of Inmost Light, yes, Heart of Inmost Light, and then the Greaves of the Taken King for the boots, and then the mark, obviously we're using the uh, Biosphere Explorer mark. So shadering, I should probably explain this here and there. The shadering was Chid and Slate because I wanted to turn off the Abyss Inverted Glow, and from there I just had to really just find black shaders so that way I can combine every piece together. That being said, I think Jack Arena is not the best one, but it is the best one that I found when I was trying to do it because I don't like the blue straps on the arms, but that's so minimal that most people are not going to notice it. And overall, I think this set does look cool. I would probably switch out some pieces like maybe the again, it's it's the same thing with the hunters that I would just switch out the pieces that I'm showcasing. So the uh, Biosphere Explorers pieces, I would just switch them out for hive theme pieces because I feel like that would look better. If the bone changed color, then I would leave at least the helmet here because I do think it looks cool and then switch out the, the mark because I don't think the mark is good at all. As for the next set, we're going to be using Dune Marcher, specifically the Husk Crushers. This is a hive themed piece and I think it looks really, really cool. So for the helmet, Helm of the Taken King is what I'm using. The Will Breakers Resolve for the chest piece. And then for the mark, the Apilos following mark, I think looks really cool. So for this one, I actually do think this one looks really cool. Even with the arms, my only gripe again is the fact that I had to like work the shader into making sure the shader looks cool with the bone. And that's why we're using the Atlantis wash. All of all of the videos that I will be showcasing will be using the Atlantis wash because it looks really good. It's the closest color that I found though. This one and another one that I do think I showcased in this one. But yeah, overall, I do like this look. My only gripe is the fact that the Atlantis wash on the Helm of the Taken King doesn't turn off the glow completely. You guys will see that it's actually like a blue white instead of an actual white that the other armor pieces have. So if it really does bug you, I would just tell you just switch out the helmet for something else. Maybe the Oryx themed one or the Oryx helmet uh, from the, ta the Taken King raid. I think that one would look cool. Other than that, um, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. As for the next set, we're going to be utilizing the chest piece. And I actually think this looks really cool because my whole gripe with this one was I want to go for a Viking witch doctor kind of feel. And I think I kind of nailed it. Uh, the red is really, really cool. We're using echoed anger for this one for the helmet. We're going to be using the we're going to be using the mask of the quiet one. I think this looks amazing. I was thinking about using the ornament, but I like the chain like cover on the helmet just because it looks way better for the arms wolf kiss gauntlets is what we're using the boots god's bane greaves and then the iron forerunner mark for the mark and i think all of it looks really cool very viking themed in my opinion um i think my only gripe and i think i mentioned this in the actual uh the actual review of the of the armor is i wish they made the chest piece a little bulkier in the back so that way it could look very like huge because Titans, I think, look the best when their chest pieces are massive. And I don't mean like bulky, but I mean like in the back when like when their neck is covered, because then they look like a juggernaut. They look like, oh shit, you about to get wrecked, bro. So when they have a small chest piece, I feel like it's just not a Titan. It's more of just like, you look weird, bro. Your chest looks weird. That's all I can really think about. So 
I really just wish this chest piece was bulkier in the back. I think that would have just looked way better. But let me know what you guys think about this one. This one's definitely a favorite, but I do think the next one is way better, which let's just get into it. For this one, we're going to be using the Armamentarium with the Shock Grenadier Ornament. And this one, I ended up going for a more tactical, like, Ahamkara Hunter vibe. And I think it looks really, really cool. So for the helmet, Eidolon Pursuant Helm is what we're using. And for the arms and the boots, we're going to be using the Biosphere Explorer sets. And then for the Mark, the Thunderous Impact. So the shader is Flowers of Io, which is funny considering the last one I think was an Io shader as well. And this one is super dope. Like, I really like this. I think all of it looks amazing. Granted, if the bones actually did change color, best believe I would not be using flower, Flowers of Io. Although it looks good. Like, it looks really, really cool. But I just have to be honest with you guys and just say I would probably just put in something else like maybe a blue and black or a bl red and black or anything with black just because tactical to me you have to have black in there because that's kind of like the whole shtick of being tactical you like for me at least so as much as I like how this all looks and I do like it if the bones change color best believe I would not be using the shader but let me know what you guys think I definitely think this is the best set from the whole video just because the first one is cool I definitely like it the second one I think is super cool as well I would just switch out the helmet and the third one although cool as fuck i just dust that last one just for me looks so good so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming up to this point be safe i'll see you guys later